Hey squad, so today we're going to be talking about how I brought my five-year-old wig back to life and I'm going to show you guys some behind the scenes of my salon suite. Okay, so I just got on my first client. I'm about to go to Subway and get me something to eat. So yeah. And then I'm about to go home. Well, I'm about to go to Subway, get me something to eat, and then I'm about to go home, get my wig, come back, do my hair so I can finish I don't know about y'all, but I could sometimes go the whole day without eating, and that is so bad, right? Especially just standing up, doing hair. Um, so today was a light day. I only had one client, and I seen that like a week beforehand. So I'm like, okay, cool. Somebody must have rescheduled. So I decided to like block the rest of that day off, right? Um, I had got some Subway, and then I decided like, oh yeah, you know, I need to go home and grab my wig, and I ended up running into traffic. So. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Um, I ended up coming home, but I spent time with my husband. So that's why I didn't record me eating and stuff, but I had like this turkey sandwich with teriyaki and aioli sauce, all vegetables, and um, a double chocolate chip cookie. So good. So I'm about to go back to the shop and then I'm about to record myself doing my hair. So I'm gonna see y'all on the flip side. As you can tell, y'all, I did not end up at home. I ended up going to a beauty store and I was looking for some nail polish because my toes and my nails are not matching right now. So you can see like this peaches color. I was trying to get that color to match my toes. So I decided to go there. Now I am at the salon. I am located in Cincinnati, Ohio at Harper's Point at My Salon Suites. So I'm showing you guys this is the area that I walked through to go up in there. They have like a dental place right here, a place, um, fine Chinese restaurant, you name it, it's over here. They have a donut shop, um, grocery store, shopping areas. Everything is over here, you guys. So you can either get on the elevator or go up the stairs. So I decided to do the elevator. Once you come into the salon suites, we have this cute little lobby area. And then you could go up to the caller and press 207 and then press call i can see you guys on my icon in the back so i'll be able to just buzz you guys right on in you'll hear a beep and then you know i could buzz you right on in and then you will walk back look at everybody's lovely suite so my suite is 207 like i said earlier and it's nature styles I have been at this location for two years and people, they just love it. It's such a vibe. It's very intimate. Oh, good. This is my little suite, you guys. So here you see I have my hooks on the wall. Um, I decided to do this color. It's called Moscato Midnight because it complements our skin tone so well. We got a little motivational piece right there. My little bags on the table over there is for my new clients. So I have samples and everything in there. And then we have a retail center as well. Well. So everything I use on you guys, I also provide so you could purchase as well. And then I bring, I put little samples in the bag. Over here we have the little boom box so we could catch a vibe. I also provide waxing and steam services along so with the supplement and the um, bond building treatments for the hair. I have my stack snack station over here. I usually have like some sweet stuff as well, but we only got popcorn, some water, and some sparkling water, which is cool for now. This is my motivational wall. People love this wall, y'all. It's a whole vibe people literally come here just to take pictures with this wall and over here you see the elephants it's like a mama elephant and two small baby elephants and that's just me and my kids then you see me i love elephants y'all but y'all see me okay so then this is the area where you know the blow dryer and then if people want to watch tv i also cut on the tv i have braiding hair over there as well because i used to be a braider and i still do have clients that still come get their hair braided now, mostly y'all, this is what y'all been waiting for. Look at this wig. So the wig is still wet. Mad y'all, when I had um, colored this wig a couple of days ago, the bleach was sitting on there for about three days. I know that's nasty. Y'all could go on my Instagram, Asia Styles. The wig was still popping, okay? Just, just wait until the end of the video. So right here, you see me cutting the lace. I'm about to cut the lace because I wanted to make it a V-part wig. I haven't really had time to do like a sew-in or anything like that. And you will see my hair in this next clip. I had to, I shampooed it literally maybe like five days ago and it's been just blow dried out y'all mom life business life is hectic um so right here you see i'm trying to figure out like what side would be cute i'm always like a middle part girl but i was trying to think like maybe a sad part ish and y'all i still end up opting for a middle part the middle part is just my thing i guess with like how my face and jawline is and just my features a middle part works very really good on my hair and with my hair being so thick and i wanted to do like a medium cut look with curls 
a middle part is just is ideal so with my hair being so thick and if you guys haven't watched my last video you can go watch my last video and i explained to y'all that i am relaxed and i'm transitioning back to natural but since my hair being so thick i literally leave a little bit out on each side and it cut you see that it's just a little bit and it will cover up um you know the tracks or this closure i'm about to put in so right here is my foundation. Y'all do not judge. I I do my own hair. I did my protein treatments. I did a supplement treatment, all that good stuff is fine. Um, so the small braid you see, I did around the part and around my perimeter. That's for the base, because I will be sewing it on. I will be sewing the wig onto that. And then in the middle, I did big braids, because mind y'all, this is a wig, so it will be a flat foundation. Here is my oil. I don't have the label on it, because this is just the oil I use in house but i have a chemist who helped me create my oil and i will link that um down in the description you guys but this oil is everything it helps with dry scalp brittle ends stimulate hair growth grow back edges you name it it helps out so you can see back here y'all look at that nape <laughs> i gotta get my nape together but i took the crochet needle and the extra braid that was hanging out i just basically crocheted through the base Okay, so here, um, I didn't put this clip in, but I put the V part, you know, unit on and it was too big. So I basically made like triangle cut pieces on each side. That way the wig will fit. And then I also had to like alter some. So like halfway through, and when I had put the wig on, I was like, ooh, this wig, look, you know, it's too big because it was a lace closure wig, right? So I ended up having to like cut the um, wig in the middle and then I had like sewed it together just so it could, you know, be a little tighter. Then I also had cut the band off as well. So right here in this clip, you see that this wig is, oh, y'all, it was tearing apart, whatever. I ended up sewing that little piece back together. And I, I didn't do the camera right, but I was trying to show you guys, like, I was just sewing that piece back together because the wig will still be used, okay? This is my first time ever doing anything like this, y'all. So bear with me. I know how this is gonna turn out. I kind of had a feel and I'm like, okay, this is a lace closure at the top. So it should lay flat, flat. Um, so I got like half of it sewed in. And then as you can see, I was sewing the other side in. You can still see the lace. I ended up fixing that towards the end, cutting the excess lace off. And I basically like sewed under and then I, double knotted or sometimes i single knotted each one and then pull um it's not too tight and it fits really well um everything was good everything was good so i'm just showing you guys how i um sewed it down i was looking in the camera and i really couldn't tell so i had to face towards the mirror y'all this took some time but we finally here so if you look at the wig you will see i color only so far down because i was supposed to cut some of it off um so that's why the color job looks so blotchy but this is my hair out with it and then i end up like cutting some layers in it and a whole bunch of other stuff i was staying at the salon suite late and i was the only one here by myself so i had to hurry up and go so i didn't record me doing the um the layering part I did use a wax stick before I start flat ironing. Um, since I am going back natural, the roots is rooting, okay? This is reminding me of how the natural life is, and it's all good. So I like to use my edge stick on the roots and the edge part, and then I took my hot comb, and I basically just laid that um, new growth and everything down. That way I don't have to use that much heat on my leave out because when you use a hot comb that's indirect heat that hot comb the hair is gliding through the hot comb and not actually being pressed with plates so it's actually best to get it straightened first with the blow dryer then hot comb because both of them could be indirect heat and then follow up with a flat iron and here you see i am curling my hair so just key advice, when you guys are curling your hair and y'all want that like very, I think it's what ferret faucet look, curl away from the face and then brush the curls out. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna have some flawless, flawless curls. I came home and my husband was like, ooh, this is giving bougie. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is giving real bad and bougie. And you guys, I haven't did my hair like really, really like did a style of my hair in so long just because... You know, I got the kids running the business and I just ain't been putting myself first. So I'm like, I got to do something for me. And this was that. And I had so much fun doing this, y'all. Like I said, go look 
and follow me on YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, on Instagram. I almost definitely will follow back, but I've been posting videos left and right. I am feeling myself with this unit. Um, if you guys want to see how I upkeep it at night, put it in the comments because I most definitely could show y'all like how to upkeep these curls. That way you don't have to keep recurling, um, you know, the leave out and all that good stuff. Y'all see that? I'm feeling myself. Let's start pushing the bangs in. <laughs> I was really feeling myself, y'all. This is so cute. And I love it because it's so many different tones of color. And it just blends real well with my skin tone. Um, just a little tip, y'all. Y'all see how that curl it really went acting right? Spray some like um hold and spray on it and then comb it to the way you want it to flow. And I promise you guys it will stick. So this is the finished result, you guys. Y'all like it? I love it. I lay my edges. I was cute. Okay, until next time. Bye.